Hey folks, welcome back to Hobby Fist Slaying the Spire again. Um, last week I did one run, and in between now and then I played quite a few uh, Ironclad runs. I really like this game. This game's really fun. I've been playing a lot of this, but I have not touched at all. I don't know what the silent is. We're going to find out together. And then maybe I'll actually uh, play another uh, Ironclad to hang out terribly this one goes, because... Let's see. Less health, same gold. Start of each combat, I get two additional cards. So, I, as you can see, I've unlocked a few cards on this. I might, like I said, I'll come back to this again afterwards, but first now, let's see how bad this goes. Uh, I've come across a few pointers. Another try. I've never played on her, so how dare you say another try. Fucking land whale. You brought me back. I don't get any unlocks this turn, because I guess this is the first time we're playing them. And I guess a, they, they're doing weekly patches for this game. And I guess this patch that just came out, it's, it feels like merchants don't pop up as much as often. And I don't really feel like I should actually get to them early in the run, because I don't have enough money to really get relics I like. So, I think what I'm going to do is follow this path here, or question mark, question mark. Enemy, enemy, depending on what my life is, camp, question mark, and then come up to this merchant. That's I should have some uh, decent amount of money by then. But again, this is the first time I play this character. I have no idea how terribly this is going to go. All right, so that's a lot of goddamn cards, Jesus. All right, so we've got to let's neutralize three damage in one week. All right, we'll do that. So, I don't have any way of healing after the end of the fight here. I have less health than the Ironclad did, so it's a different mechanic. I need to gain 5 block, or I can... Discard. We'll discard that, because I'm going to defend anyway. I don't want to lose any health, because I'm kind of slow burning this, slow ride, taking it easy, whatever you want to call it. Alright, they don't keep armor at the end of this. Another 12 damage. 5, 10... This is really dumb, just taking a bunch of defense, but I think I'm going to eat two damage. I think I'm fine if I take two. That, that should be okay. I mean, some lady wearing a skull on her head, wrapped in a blanket. Another seven damage. Five. I mean, I'm fine with taking two damage that one time, but I don't want to slowly bleed myself out here. So every now and then, yeah, I'll think about taking... Uh, a bit of damage here or there, but... Ah, uh, what? I was not paying attention at all. I could have done damage that turn, but I didn't. The bad plays have already started. Well, I'm going to do a block and actually negate this here, so I'm just going to discard that now, and now I'm not going to take any damage this turn. So, way more card draw on this one. And I don't know if there's any other way I can actually get armor at all or re heal whatever it's called I don't know again this is the first time I play this I don't know what cool things I can get but we're just gonna keep playing it safe as boring as this is I could have killed him this turn god damn it bad play number two the uh, hits they just keep coming oh well, he's dead now all right First combat we've survived. Fantastic. Alright, apply 5 damage. Get 3 poison. Are you a poison character? Is that what this is with your... I think that's a Chris. K-R-I-S. Dagger spray. 4 damage. All enemies twice. Gain 5 block. Draw 2 cards. Card draw is decent. But I think I'm going to go with poison stab just because I haven't seen what this character can do. Is it an actual... Oh, combat. Is it an actual poison... What you might call it? Well, we're gonna survive her, defend, get rid of the defend here, poison staff, so I can start making that thing die. I guess neutralize you, so you can take extra damage, or neutralize less damage. Excuse me. I think this makes me vulnerable. No, nope, weakened. All right, fantastic. Can I kill you this turn? I cannot. God damn it! All right, well. We'll negate 5 to E2. Gotta have a trade-off. 
I mean, I could have done more block, but I don't think I would have killed anybody, and then I would have eventually actually eaten more. So I guess I'm going to eat two. Six. Uh, yeah, I guess I'm fine with eating two. Again, it's it, it feels like I'm, I'm, I'm trading off future issues by slowly um, taking a bunch of little ticks of damage here and there, but we're fine now. Another elixir. Elixir's kind of bad. All right, we got draw a card. If it's a skill, get block. Apply deal sandwich. Ugh. Deal seven damage. Apply one week. Uh, Daggerthor seems good, but more debuffs also useful. And since I don't have any heal, them actually doing less damage feels like it's more of a logical thing. I don't want to go there yet because I don't feel like I have enough money to make it worth it. So we're gonna do a question mark and see what it is. Uh, as you walk into the room, you hear gurgling and grinding. I will do this once. And I will not do it again. So I'm, I'm, I'm playing super nervous here with my health, because, again, I have no way of regening it again. I can just draw a bunch of cards. Okay, this person is not doing any, any damage to me this turn, so let's just turn and burn, whatever they call it. Was actually that the right card to play? Seven damage. It is actually one more. So yeah, I guess it was worth it. Although now they're... That means nothing now. Four damage. We'll block it once. Strike. Yeah. Victim of no card draw that time. So I don't know what relics are actually going to work synergistically. Synergy-wise. I bet there's an easier way of saying that. I just... Didn't think of it there. We're gonna poison you in that. Zero. I got. I gotta pay way more attention to me not using all the energy I can right now because I've already fucked up once. Uh, I don't want to take any more damage. I feel like I'm at 10 HP. I've lost so far in the fights. How close am I to a camp? Uh, at least one fight away. And I need to do an elite so I can actually get some more relics. Sucker punch. Oh, he's dead. I'm not counting. Alright, we've got another crippling poison, but that's two. That's a bit too much. Deflect is just a weaker block by one. Oh, wrong one. Is it? Yeah, five block. Dagger spray, I think I'm going to go with. And depending on how this goes, I might do an elite after this. I don't know if I feel like I have enough. Um actual cards in my deck yet to actually go for the lead. We'll see after the end of this this round. So we'll just strike a bunch. I should have sucker punched because that's more damage. So he splits at 50%. I should either feel like I need to get just before and then the turn afterwards dump as much damage as I can possibly. But if I do another strike here he's going to interrupt. No, so I'm going to actually wait this turn does he interrupt now? Okay, he doesn't. So now I'm going to dump as much damage into, into him now as I can to stop him from... Uh, for when he splits to having a bunch of extra damage, whatever the hell it's called. I'm an idiot. So each of his little... Uh, when he splits, he's going to have 20, 19, so that's great. They both lose the poison, though. So I feel that actually fighting just before he's at 50 percent then the next turn just dumping as much damage as possible into him so when they split these little guys don't have that much hp and they're easy to kill however none of them are actually attacking me this turn so this dude's dead i'm only going to be vulnerable oh it's frail he's stacking frail pay attention all right so he lives for a turn, another frail. That's fine. Didn't lose any HP this round, that's great. Give me an attack. I'm going to spray some daggers. That's how cool I am. As apparently I'm very cold and I'm just going to wear my blanket. Piercing whale. All enemies lose six strength for a turn. That feels like something I should use in like two or three floors, but not right now. Um, deadly Poison, but I'd rather actually have the damage and then the stack, although 
doing the math afterwards, maybe that's a different choice. I think we're going to I think I'm going to go for the elite now, and if it goes bad, I'll camp afterwards. All right. It's not the 3 Sentinel or whatever the hell they're called. That one's bad. So, he's not attacking me this turn. I'm just going to do the free damage. Start stacking some poison. And then hope that next turn I actually have some blocks because I feel like this dude's going to do some damage next turn. All right, so his, whenever I play a skill, he gains strength. And if I skill, I gets five block. If I weaken him, he's only going to do four damage. But if I defend, he's going to do... He's going to get two strength, which, which causes that to go up. So instead of losing four, I lose one? Math? Okay. I didn't go to college for math, but I can still remember some things. I don't know how actually, actually useful a spine would be for a club, because honestly, this is a lot of damage I'm going to take, and if I, I have to defend... Ugh. I don't feel like that was smart, but... I'm going to take... I, I was taking 20 damage regardless, I think. I didn't want to sit and do the math. I got the camp... Oh, 30 damage. I gotta neutralize you, get you down to 22. More st more, uh, I'm gonna eat a lot this turn. If I block, he's gonna bring it up another two strength, so he's gonna bring it to 24. I'm gonna survive her. And if I block again, I'm gonna see, we're gonna play this 27, so I'm blocking quite a bit. So I feel that it's still kind of useful to block some of this stuff. But, Jesus Christ, I'm losing a lot of health. So I don't feel like I'm actually playing this smart enough, although he's dead this turn, so it doesn't matter. I'm not playing the character smart enough. Who tough was this? Every time I discard a card during this turn, game block. Well, I don't really... Oh, I do. There actually is a discard, so... Malaise. Spend all blanks. Lose. Enemy loses a bunch of strength. Apply... X week in exhaust. Hmm. How long does it stay around for? Is it just like permanent or not? I don't think the card really explains enough for me to figure it out. But whatever, we're gonna go with Noxious Flame. Fumes Flames, excuse me. Find a shimmering mass of light encompassing the center of the room. I'm going to a camp, but. It's a lot of help. Let's see. Camp, chest. Oh, I'm fine. So we're, we're going to do this. We're going to do this and then rest. We're going to rest. Chest, rest. And then we'll have a bunch of health going into the next one. This is all coming up millhouse. Every time I play three skills in a single turn, I'll deal five damage to all enemies. I feel like I could do that. I feel like I'm missing out by not upgrading... On the first floor, because the first first floor should be the easiest. However, I ain't having such a good time of it. Again, this is the first time I've played the character, so I don't know. I can neutralize you. Survivor 1. We'll discard a strike, because I have a poison strike. Noxious fumes. And then I'll poison stab you. And we're fine. So everyone should start taking the poison. I guess a way you could play this by the way it looks is maybe stack a bunch of defense and let poison just slowly kill the enemies. I don't know. Can anybody die this turn? Hmm. I feel like I should start evening at no no. Evening even I don't know why I'm having such a hard time saying words. But maybe disperse the damage better than I did that time so I can die around the same time so I'm not getting this vulnerability stack on me. So he's gonna do five. Twelve and five, that's twenty-one, he is dead. Even if he wasn't the poison was going to kill him next turn. He is dead now. Even if I can't do the math, it doesn't matter. Dude's dead. Alright. Poison Terror. Apply that is a lot of vulnerable. That's fucking nuts, Jesus. Deal 5 damage if he's weak. Gain energy in a card. I like that. This is... Feels like an amazing card for bosses. 
and maybe it'll come up again, but for now that other one feels like it has more utility to it. I guess we're spinning a wheel. Um, a lot of these I don't like, and I apparently am taking jelly? No, he's stabbing me for seven damage. What a dick. I can't I don't feel like fighting an elite next. So we're just gonna fight some weenies. Uh, I'm taking twelve damage this turn, but I can block one, so we're gonna get rid of a defend. Um we can actually take less this turn. Should I poison you? You are dead this turn, so that's fine. If I felt like I sat down with some Mensa and be like, huddled with some other guy who actually knows what the hell's going on, I could probably like, make better plays than I am right now. But we're gonna neutralize the one who's doing more damage. Take the only block we have. Does anybody die this turn? They do not, but they will be dead next turn. I am going to take... 7 damage? Ugh. I kind of feel, even on the first floor here, Granted, I don't have all of the abilities unlocked. But it kind of feels like this ain't going great. But no one's attacking me this turn. So we're going to start... How much poison? Oh, it's only two. Poison you. We will heal hook you. Alright, I guess. Fine. He should be dead next turn. But what does Spitweb do? Oh. Maybe he won't be dead this turn, depending on what I draw. He's dead this turn. You're dead. Uh, you really do miss that healing that you get from the other class, but... I feel this is more of a poison class than the other one was, so... Draw three cards, discard one, whenever I deal a card. Eh, I'll go with a thousand cuts. We'll play around with it, see how it works. Which fireplace do I feel is more worthy? We're gonna stay right in the middle lane, baby. It'd be great if I actually drew that whatever the thing was. No one's dying this turn, unfortunately. What am I discarding? One strike, just because I don't think I'm going to get to them all. I poison stab you, you're dead. I sucker punch someone else. Well, it just does more damage, so... He's got the most health. You do, so we'll nail you. And then take 5, 10, 15, 18. Well, 3 damage. 2 damage. Don't ever come to me for number problems, folks. I'm just going to embarrass me and you for trusting me. Well, I can't kill anybody this turn, so I guess we're just gonna 5, 10, 15. Eat 3 damage. Fart out some gas. I don't know if AoE is a thing I really need to pay attention to much in this game. Ah, well, they're all poison this turn. Can I neutralize a lot of... You've got the most health, I'll neutralize you. Anybody dead this turn? Nobody is dead this turn. I should have played this before, but I'm an idiot. But you die this turn. I am taking... I'm going to take three damage this turn. That's fine. Oh, apparently I got an achievement for uh, the plague. I guess I killed a bunch of people with poison. This ain't going great. After one floor, I've lost quite a bit of health. I mean, granted, relics also. I've not really... I'm going to get rid of that. Discard. Dexterity is more useful. Block and 10 damage is super useful. At the end of your turn, retain up to one card. We'll try that. Gotta do the healing. I don't feel like I'm playing this probably as great as most people did, but again, first time I'm touching it. Don't have all the cards unlocked. This guy may kill me <laughs> super quick just because he's going to do a ton of damage to start the fight off with. And then... I'm going to drink this. Yeah. He does like 
35, 40 damage in the first turn here. 35 damage, that's great. Well, we'll do a thousand cuts, just so I can start... Like, not taking as much as I can. Is he weak? He is, so we're gonna... Start doing, working around debuffs, I guess. Alright, thousand cuts is great. But now he's going to start recharging all the little flames up and doing a bunch of damage. We'll do well laid plans. We'll do 369. Damn, you're fine. Baby, let me do something, get low. It's. I'm sorry, it's been 10, 15 years to the window to the wall. You'll have to excuse me if... Is it Yin Yang Brothers? I could Google that right now, just whoever the hell that was. That was a thing back when I was in... Uh, well, Survivor and get rid of you. And then we'll deal some damage. Actually, this is going way better than I thought it was going to. Just because we have some poison tick, we're doing a bunch of damage every time we play a card. So, maybe I undersold myself. Sucker Punch. We'll just start stacking the poison. He's not attacking in this turn, so no point in defending. We'll keep a defense just in case things go bad. But he's buffing himself, and he's going to do some damage this next turn. We're nowhere near actually uh, killing him this turn, so we're just going to negate all damage. Dagger spray. It only attacks once. Six damage, five damage. He is not weak. Alright, so he's underneath 50 HP. Uh, half HP at this point. He's going to start throwing some burns in our deck. I have no way of discarding those yet, so... Although if I neutralize now, I can now heal hook. We got Sucker Punch. Uh, he's doing 6 damage, but no he's not. This is fine. We're going to keep stacking the poison because he's ticking for quite a bit this this turn. Just gotta keep stacking the poison. So, I kind of feel like, yeah, this is the debuff class, I guess you could call it. Um, no reason to uh, defend this turn, but we will keep Survivor in case things go bad. Because he is armoring himself up. And if I does, okay, is he dead this turn, or does it have to go through block? Um, seven, that's a lot of damage. I think he's probably dead this turn anyway, so it doesn't matter. Or, if he's not, we're kind of screwed regardless. I'm thinking that hopefully poison is going to tick before he attacks, otherwise game over, man. Game over. Okay, thank you, it was. Alright, so we lost 40 HP. First floor. Didn't go too badly. Adrenaline's just like that other rage thing, but this one only doesn't actually have an energy cost to it. Deal age damage twice. Glass knife's damage is lowered two by this combat. So every time you use it, it gets crappier and crappier, but we're gonna take it. Feeling good, feeling confident. Alright, so three curses and relics. I need to start getting some relics, but I haven't come across any uh, vendors yet. Five cards in my deck. No, we're, g we're gonna do Calling Bell and see what curses we get. At the end of return, take damage. If Transformer move from my deck, I lose a lot of HP. Cannot play more than, ooh. These are some really shitty cards. But we got max HP whenever I play a power. That's pretty strong. And if I obtain a curse, does that mean now I... Does it take into account all the curses I already got? Or from this point on? I don't know. But hey, that's floor one done, surprisingly, with the new character. Um, as far as how I'm putting these out, I'm not entirely sure yet if I'm going to do an Ironclad right after this. But it doesn't matter. Uh, hopefully you guys can come back and see how I do on the second floor with this. I'm sure it's probably not going to go all that well. We got some pretty shitty curses that time. But hey, thanks for all. thank you all 
for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, like, favorite, comment, subscribe, all of that stuff. Tell your friends. Tell your friends about this game. This game is a lot of fun. I'm having a lot of fun with it. I'm not winning a bunch, but sometimes just playing is all the winning I need. Whatever. We'll see you next time. Hopefully, Floor 2 will go just as well as 1 did. We'll see you then.